How to create automated emails for new subscribers in MailChimp. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you exactly that. So I will show you basically when someone subscribes with your MailChimp or you know you have your subscription form and all of those things and actually someone subscribes, how to automate a welcome message to be sent out to them uh, by default. So basically, once you sign up to your MailChimp, you would really need to set up these things. So first, you will need to go ahead and add your contact list and all of those things. But then you will need to set up your welcome emails. This is going to be highly um, benefit, beneficial for your business because you're going to have a more personalized experience for your uh, contacts. This way, when someone just signs up, you can just send out a welcome email to them with their personal name and all of those things which is something that is very, very helpful for you. And let's actually just not talk too much and get started to how to do it. So the first thing is you will need to go ahead and move or find yourself in the dashboard and go to the automation section here. So just click on the automation section and you will be taken to the automation dashboard here. So we can just go ahead and either choose a pre-built journey or build from scratch. Now, it's completely up to you, but you can just see it's going to be the first one in here. So it's going to be a pre-built journey to choose. So whether you want to just choose here or if you want to add something to it, a little twist to it, uh, you can also build from scratch. I'm just going to show you how to build from scratch. This way is going to be easier for you if you want to add something to it as well. But if, if not, you can just skip this step and just click on here and it's going to be ready for you by default. Um, now, also, even if you click on the pre-built, you will need to also do a few tweaks just to make it work. But you will need to just click on build from scratch or choose this one. doesn't really matter. If you're building from scratch, you will need to go ahead and give it a name. So welcome, email, start building. Uh, obviously, give it any name that is going to be obvious for you, and you can just edit it very easily by knowing the name. So here we go. Here we need to choose the trigger, which is the starting point. Now, if you have chosen the pre-built one, you are not going to need to worry about this. But if you're starting from scratch, you will need to choose a starting point. So choose a starting point and just select the signs up for email. So once someone, when someone signs up for email, this is going to be the trigger or the starting points. So just click on this and make sure you choose this one. Now we will just include important contacts. And if you want, you can also filter through a specific type of contact. So if you have a specific segments that you want to add, you can just use those segments. I'm just going to do this one and save the starting point. Uh, I hope you understood what I just did. So I just selected which contacts I will include. Now, if you want it to be a specific person or sp from a specific form, we can also do that. Just click on filter who can enter uh, and just choose a specific segment. For example, uh, ones that have a specific, uh, where's the form stuff? So uh, postcard activity, all of, the, all of those are basically segments that can be chosen to choose the actual person who signs up. Anyways, I'm not going to go through this. Just choose whichever filter that you want to go for uh, and just use it as the uh, starting point. But if you don't want a specific filter and anyone who can just sign up, just, just leave it empty and make sure you choose all of the contacts. Okay. So basically, once that's done, we can just go ahead and click on add a journey point. Now here is going to be where it's going to be different uh, if you want to do something else uh, from the pre-built one. So usually it's just going to be send an email and this way you can just finally create it. Uh, and you should find this point uh, if you choose the pre-built one. But you can, if you're starting from scratch and you want to add something, just make sure you go through all of them and see which one suits your needs best. But for the time being, we just want, you know, someone signs up, is going to be sent an email. So we can just click on send email. So let me just sum up everything that I have just did, uh, or I've just done uh, to make things uh, simple. So starting point is going to be signs up. So when somebody signs up to the entire uh, 
my mailchimp account not a specific filter just entirely if you want a filter again just choose a filter then a email is going or an email is going to be sent out automatically now click on the email and make sure you set up all of those things so to and from edit this and make sure you set up the sender's details so here is going to be their first name uh last name or first name and last name which i just suggest that you keep first name uh, and last name uh, and then from this is going to be the sender so it's you just make sure you enter the actual name and the sender details which is the sender email uh, it's obviously uh, much uh, suggested that you choose a business email rather than your personal email but regardless once you actually set this up click on save and we move on to the next one which is going to be the subject so see uh, set subject and preview text just give it a subject welcome uh, to whatever it may be okay so the name of the campaign or whatever they may be that they have subscribed to basically uh, and then here preview test is preview text is just going to be another text that is going to be underneath the subject kind of so we can just do a little bit of talking about what this email is about again, again just i'm just going to do welcome or something just for the sake of this example and then we click on next schedule is going to be when do you want this email to be sent out every day as soon as possible but i'm just going to edit this and uh, yeah every day keep this as every day so whenever they sign up and then as soon as possible or only send between and then if you do this you will need to go ahead and set up the specific times that you want it to be sent in but i'm just going to keep it as every day as soon as possible and i highly suggest that you keep it the same way click on save uh, and then here we can just go ahead and actually start uh, creating the email itself so we just go ahead and click on select a template now when you start uh, or choose a template it's going to show you obviously multiple templates to choose from just find one that you actually like and start editing it so i'm just going to use this one for the sake of this example click on apply and this is going to take us to the editor so for the editor it's very easy it's a drag and drop uh, it's very easy to use this is going to be the logo so make sure you go ahead and click on set logo uh, and make sure you actually select your logo this is not obviously my logo i'm just going to use it as an example hopefully it's good size okay it's decent uh, and you can just look whatever you click on you will find settings for on the left panel so you can see text you can see the settings for it on the left side um, and you can just go ahead and start you know if it's text you can just go ahead and start typing whatever you want and if it's text you can also see the options for uh, more stuff like making it bold changing the font size and the actual font uh, up uh, on the top side here so you can make this bold if you want and if it's images again just click on it and choose um, the option here on add on the left panel upload image i'm just going to upload this green image and for buttons again just click on it and you're going to be the options for it on the left side and here you just enter the link that this button actually leads to so if it's uh, uh something that you want people to go through you can just add the, the link here or not you can just go ahead and remove it so just make sure you set up this entire email to your liking this is going to be a welcome email so we can just do something like welcome to um whatever it may be i can't even spell whatever of today anyways so just add this entire email and customize it to your liking add images add whatever you want uh and not only edit but you can actually go just go ahead and add by just dragging and dropping and you can actually go ahead and add stuff so if it's an image you can just add that choose another image let's do green and purple for some reason you can add divider spacer and all of those things video and more stuff i guess you get the idea so once you are done you just go ahead and save and return to journey and you are pretty much set and ready to go it should be good to go now obviously i'm on my free trial here so i can't really do that for the sake of this example 
but if you are obviously on your plan, you can just go ahead and uh, click on finish here and it should be working properly. So this uh, automation should be complete and ready to go. And this is pretty much how to create a welcome email automation for MailChimp. It's very easy and simple to do. Uh, and you can always just use the pre-built ones. But I did this do it from scratch if you want to add your own spices, basically. With that being said, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.